Shalom, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Taziar Banyamian coming from the Great Millstone, Kansas City Church. And through this lesson, is going to be entitled The Angry All the Time Spirit. And this is a lesson, one of those lessons where you are like speaking to your younger self. You know, when you grow into the truth and you become more seasoned and you know how to handle your emotions and handle situations in the world, you kind of look back and uh, you ultimately really want to rebuke yourself, but you see the lessons in your past behavior and you see the growth in which you did. And this is the inspiration for that lesson. So, Lord willing, this would be edifying for brothers who may be experiencing the same. Now, before I get into the lesson, uh, I want to make it clear that you're not going off by being angry. You're not going off by being pissed off, by being vexed in the world. You know, having those having those days where you just don't want to be fucked with, having those days where everything is irritating. You're not going off for that. But what you don't want to have is to have that angry all the time spirit to where you wake up seven days out of the week pissed off. Something pissed you off every day out of the week. You know, when you when you come to camp. Brothers can kind of tell you have a, a, a different spirit or something is heavy on your spirit. And it may not be. You necessarily trying to portray that, but, you know, brothers are spiritual men. They can discern that something is wrong. You understand? So this is going to be a lesson more towards that side. Uh, I do have some points that I wanted to make before I get into the scriptures. Uh, the first point uh, going into that angry all the time spirit is we have to think long term. We can't just think that the situation that we're in is going to be forever or the feelings that we're feeling is, is going to last forever. You see, you have to tell yourself that, OK, I'm going to get over this. You have to tell yourself that this this too shall pass, as <laughs> as they say in the as they say in church. But that's a very true thing, because sometimes when it comes to our emotions, they get the best of us and they are so highlighted in our mind that that's the only thing that we can think on is that is that feeling of hurt, that feeling of pain, that feeling of anger, that feeling of wanting to fuck somebody up. Like I said, it's not wrong for having that feeling, but when you're holding on to that, that can hinder your growth in the faith because that is a polar opposite of the fruit of the spirit. And Lord willing, if the spirit is on me, I want to do a separate lesson going into the fruit of the spirit, you know, going into each one of them, each one of them. <clears throat> but like I said, first point is to think long term. This this captivity, this job that you have, these uh these bills, these money problems, it's not going to last forever. You know, even though it's a constant thing that we have to deal with it, there there's an end. And that's why Yahabashim Yahashai gave us the truth, because we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know a lot of brothers say this, but when you actually put things in per into perspective, it helps with doing away with that angry all the time spirit. Now you just learn how to roll with the punches and, and accept the hell and, and accept the bullshit and accept the disrespect. You know, if you get upset every time, you know, you get you get disrespected or, you know, some something goes wrong in the world. Hey, it's going, it's going to be a long year. It's going to be a long time in the faith, you see. But when you just accept it and you're able to roll with it and keep pushing, hey, then, hey, it's, 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 the, it's the Lord's will. You know, you got to put it up to the Lord's will. And that's the second point is using the scriptures. You see, why do I say use the scriptures? I mean, obviously it goes in the reading, but. If if you are in a position where you, you, you feel angry, you feel lost or um, you feel, you know, you have that wrath, you feel that pain. One thing that I do, 
I might write down 10 scriptures regarding peace. Write down 10 scriptures regarding healing. You see, write down 10 scriptures that go into joy. You see, to 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 put yourself in that in, in a different mind frame using the scriptures. You see, when you when you do that, that's when you're applying what you're what, what you're reading. You're applying what you're into. You no, know, we don't. The Bible isn't just for you to pull out, you know, uh, <laughs> Revelation 13. 13 and 10 he that leadeth to captivity go into captivity no the bible is there so we can help correct our lives through the spirit and power you by shimmy shy even on a, a, a basic term when it comes to our emotions when it comes to certain decisions you see so like i say, if, if you're in a position where you, you you feel yourself being overly angry your emotions are getting the best of you write down 10 scriptures regarding peace Write down 10 scriptures regarding joy. Write down 10 scriptures regarding healing. You know, or, or a savior or hope. 10 scriptures regarding hope. If you feel hopeless. You see, but let's go ahead and get into some precepts and I'm going to uh, come back for two more points. You know, uh, you, you know, I, I kind of tell this is going to be a long lesson. Uh, when I have long lessons, I kind of try to chop them up. So, you know, the message can still get out. You know, brothers want to keep watching. But this is a. Psalms chapter 37, verse 7, it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. But the first part of precept says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently in him for him. You see, when when you're so caught up in your emotions and you want to react certain ways, you want to do things to certain people, you want to give off a certain energy. That that can blind your judgment. That can have you do things that will get you in a more dangerous situation as far as your walk in the spirit. But if you wait patiently for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and let him show you things as you go along, then you can look back and be like, OK, I see. I see why the Lord did this. I see why the Lord did that. Because a lot of times we get so turned up off of our initial reactions we not sitting back and thinking that okay yahweh by shim is showing me something what do i need to learn but it said rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass verse 8 psalms 37 verse 8 cease from anger and forsake wrath Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So, like I said, you're not going off for of being angry. You're not going off for of having those moments. But when that's becoming a a main emotion, a main part of your character is just is just that that resting bitch face, or or you know <laughs> that 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 nobody talked to me face. Hey man, you got to do away with that because Yahweh Shah came to bring us peace. Yahweh Shah came to bring us life, and that's what we have. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. See, I mean, because a lot of times, you know, like as I said earlier, we, we react off emotions. Now, we may not be going off and doing evil, wicked things, but we can do things that can hurt our growth. Uh, next one, Proverbs 16, verse 32. Verse 32, Slaki. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh a city. You see, and that's um, that was part of the, the the first point that I made. You know, is to think long term. You have to be slow to anger. You see, isn't isn't uh Yahweh Bashim Shah long suffering? You don't think Yahweh Shah has that anger in him to uh to 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 go down and to to smite the evil two thirds and to smite the the Edomites that disrespect him. But he has to be long suffering. But it said he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. You see, you have to build up your tolerance. You understand? And, and, and sometimes it, it takes a while. It, it it takes a lot of vexation <laughs> to to build that tolerance. You know, if you're not actively working on it, because eventually, once you grow in the truth, 
you see, you look back, be like, man, if I was in this situation two years ago, I would have reacted different. But now I'm here and I'm just, I'm cool. I'm coaching. I'm, I'm handling my business as a man. But hey, that's you being slow to anger. That's why, you know, the apostles always say you, you say you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because that increases your long suffering. That inc increases your endurance, especially when it comes to your emotions. But uh, let me get a couple couple more of these points. Uh, one more point is to take responsibility. Because sometimes, <clears throat> being honest, <laughs> we angry about decisions that we made <laughs> that got ourselves fucked up. Sometimes we we angry over decisions that we made, not in the spirit, just just completely going off of our own mind that uh, makes things harder for ourselves. So we get angry at others when really we have to look in the mirror. You understand? And the man that can take responsibility for his actions is a is a real man indeed. Is a real man indeed. <laughs> You see, but the second point I have is accept what you can't change. A lot of times when you go off in the world, you know, speaking honestly, this was a uh, this was me, you know, when I used to work at a bar, you know, I used to get so vexed about uh, seeing uh, niggas eating pork, seeing adultery every day, you know, seeing, uh, you know, all, all, all kind of manners of wickedness. I used to take that personally. You know, I'd be like, man, Jake, 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 they, Jake, don't get it. These niggas is gone, you know. But eventually, <laughs> you know, hey, that and that will wear on me. Speaking honestly, man, I, I will.